welcome to diamonds and bills this is gonna be a recap vlog because i do apologize i went to new york to visit my family and friends and i did not vlog as much as i did when i went to, when i did my orlando trip it's because i really wanted like you guys know i'm from new york so i wanted to spend so much time with my family and friends that i totally forgot to vlog so i vlogged here and there and that was it so i'm just gonna do a recap this whole video i'm gonna input some pictures some videos that you you could see and to see just how my trip was and then i'm gonna show you guys some stuff that i bought my parents bought for me when i was in new york nothing too major if you are new welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you return and thank you so much for subscribing and let's get into it on saturday august is 14th i left for new york um, my family and i went to laguardia they've been doing a construction on laguardia for mad long i cannot remember after we went from there i went to my grandma aunt picked me up we went to our grandparents house my grandparents were so happy to see me but you know my grandma she's very big with the whole covid thing so she was like spraying on with lysol like i was tasting the lysol in my throat that's how bad it was <laughs> and after that we had went to the movie so i saw fast figures nine finally and it was actually good i was actually looking forward to cardi b part being longer because you know i'm i'm a bardi fan like i was like this is only it like she only had like two lines but i heard that she's gonna be in the future like the last one so i'm looking forward to that so i'm kind of excited to that after that on sunday i what to do sunday sunday uh, church. I listen to Unchurch because they still do the phone call in church. It's not in uh, like on site at the, at the moment. And I watch. I binge watch Merlin. So on Monday, I met up with my friend Alexia. I haven't seen her in like years, and it was so good to see her. We went to IHOP. You know, had like a little breakfast, lunch. Like it was. It was nice. And um. I'm gonna tell you how crazy it is how New York um meter maids are. If anybody knows the Bronx, you know on um is it on Allerton Avenue? Is it Allerton Avenue? I don't remember where they have the IHOP over there, and then you have the so it's Popeyes, it's White Castle, and it's IHOP. So Popeyes, we we were walking because we had walked, and we stopped at White Castle. So White Castle, I saw these two cops. They were sitting down, looking like they were having lunch, right? So I'm like, okay, you know they're sitting down having lunch. I kid you not, I'm sitting at IHOP, right? The same two cops, they walk in and they pray, they give somebody a ticket because, you know, as soon as the meter run out, they don't even wait. They already stand there with the ticket already done. I was like, damn. I was like, then that person probably tight when they came out there. But I'm like, these cops were on their lunch break. That means that they were peeping that car for the longest. And as soon as that clock hit, they were like, whoop. Lunch off ticket in damn i was like yo they they ruthless so after that um i went back to my aunt's house um my other friend janelle she came to pick me up and we went to cheesecake factory and yonkers and ridge hill it was nice but a lot of the stores there are shutting down and the condos i was looking at the condos they had condos starting at like it was like one bedroom one bath starting at like 250k and i was like damn like can you imagine how much hoa is i was like yo they fucking so after that on tuesday we had went to six flags I feel a drizzle. Oh, I know. Kellen, you don't feel anything. Shush. No, you don't feel any drizzle, okay? That's what that's what you assume. I feel it again. No jinxing. Okay. This is improving my glasses. Kellen. Oh, yes, I do. Um, um, no, but I have some of that. Yeah, I haven't been to Six Flags in years. So when I say I haven't been to Six Flags in years, it's been years since I've been to Six Flags. I think I was like eight, nine. I've been to Six Flags. That's mad long ago. So when we went to Six Flags, and you know, it wasn't a bad experience. I'm actually gonna show like a quick. I did a quick vlog on Six Flags, but it wasn't like in depth. That was when, that was when we just finished parked, and then we were about to go in there, and that was like the closest I got. So in Six Flags, it wasn't too bad. We went under Harley Quinn. We went under Harley Quinn and the Batman. The I think it's like it's like King Kong, King Kong ride. And we did um what's that ride? The Nitro. Nitro was actually a dope ride. Like that ride was was dope. I actually wanted to go on the Spider Man. No, I wanted to go on the Superman ride. I wanted to go on the Joker. And but the rides were getting long, like, cause when we just got there, it was like empty. But like after a while, it was, like everybody had the same idea. We went in and went later on in the day, cause we went in like around three o'clock, and it was a mad pack. So 
it was good and I went ahead and got cape so I went ahead and got these capes I have to show you guys so hold on I had to search for it so everybody knows I'm more big into Marvel but I do watch a lot of DC so I had to get I got the Batwoman cape and it was a buy one and you get one free so I couldn't beat that I got the Batgirl cape I thought this was so cool. And then I got the Wonder Woman cape. So I wanted the Flash cape, but it was just too red for me. Like, it was just too red, and red is not really my color. So I was like, this, this is okay. I could pass on that. It was just too red for me. And then I wanted Aquaman. It was just too green for me. And I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to stick with Wonder Woman and Batgirl. You can't beat that. After that, we had went to the arcade. And then this is when we know that we had gambling problems. Because we were at the arcade just buying mad tokens to play the games to win tickets. So I went ahead and I won. I got these cards and this die. And I got some candy. Like, you know, a little airhead and um star sour patch. You know, the usual. It was nothing major. I didn't win a lot, but when I tell you that we got, we were cutthroat. At that point, our family looked like we had a problem because we were just going to the, cause <laughs> we were just going to casino like it was nothing. Like we were just getting tokens to the point that the tokens said that it was temporary um closed because they couldn't give us any more tokens. That's how much we were buying tokens. Like it was real out here in these streets. <laughs> so after that, uh, you know, we went back to the house. So on Wednesday, I ended up, um, I think I ended up just chilling on Wednesday. It was nothing major. Uh, so then after that on Thursday, Thursday was another good day. It was like a chill day, you know, spend time with my family and my grandparents my grandma I should say and stuff like that and I helped my grandpa out with his computer issues you know you know you ever feel like like when you come as a millennial and you help your grandparents out with like technology you feel like you whole IT you not really but you feel like you whole IT like yeah I can do that just do this yeah and you feel like you're on top of the world that's how it felt so then I always went back and I chilled on Friday was I think it was another chill day but Friday I didn't really feel too well because you know but I know that we, we 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 did go shopping, so we bought some stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got and my parents got for me. So I ended up going to Kmart. So Kmart had a lot of um a lot of stuff at Co-op City, and I bought like four to five pair of jeans because it had ten dollar jeans. So I I got these Route Six high 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 rise jegging, and they're regular because you know sometimes you can get petite i just got the regular and it's a size 10 so that's how it looks it still literally still has this, this the tags on it i didn't take them off i didn't wear it yet i actually wore end up wearing these jeans when i was up there so yeah that's why i don't have the tag on it anymore so i re i really wanted some jeans that didn't have like um holes because you know many of my jeans i realized have a lot of holes in the front and i'm like you know, if we ever get back into the office, I want to be able to wear jeans that doesn't have rips in it, holes, rips, and a nice dressy top and call it a day. Like, that's my vision. So, I'm like, I can't just be out here, you know. And these jeans were $10. So, of course, I bought, like, four and like, every other size, every other color they had. And this is, uh, this was the 10, 10 regular as well. Then I got these in these dark ones. So I like dark jeans like these because I feel like it looks good with almost everything. And they are the 10 regular skinny mid-rise. So this is the mid-rise one. And then this is another one, which I like this color as well. It is the 10 regular mid-rise as well. So it's the mid-rise. So I like the mid-rise and uh, mid um, and high high-rise jeans. I'm not a fan of the low-rise because that's one style that I'm happy that's not in style anymore. Because y'all remember in the early 2000s, everything was low rise. And then if you have a little tum tum now with a muffin top, that ain't it. It, it ain't it no more. It, it's definitely not it no more. So I was so happy that I saw these jeans. It looked like they just took them out because I, I went and grabbed everything. Because remember in New York, school was like not opening until like two, three weeks from now. You know what I mean? Like from then. It's opening like what well, thing week after next. So you know, I beat all the people trying to get stuff for school. 
after that at Kmart so I am not a hockey fan I I don't know anything about hockey I I used to watch those Disney movies about hockey but I am not a hockey fan so I gotta tell you that I'm not a hockey fan I don't know anything about hockey but when it comes to New York, I'm repping New York, except the Knicks, because you know I'm a Miami Heat fan. But I got me a New York Islanders hockey shirt, and it was on sale. So it was $20, and it was on sale for $3. I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna beat that. And I got a large, because you know, sometimes with these cut, they, they did the woman cut. I don't like sometimes how it fits. Like, it's like fitted, you know what I mean? So I usually get like a large or extra large in those tops. And then they had another shirt, but this is the New York Rangers. Again, don't know anything about hockey. It was $20, I got it for $3. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna rep whichever New York team it is. I was looking for a Yankee because I'll rep Yankees, but I didn't have anything Yankee. And then I saw, I was like, damn, they ain't got no New York Giants because you know I'm a New York Giants fan. I was like, they ain't got no New York Giants. So then I saw this last New York Giants long sleeve. It's a medium and it was for $4. And I was like, I can't beat that. So I went ahead and got it, the sleeves. And it was like $25. And I was like, yo, you can't beat these prices. They had like 80% off. And I was like, you can't beat these. And then I was mad extra. Like, I promise you I, I'm mad extra. So I was like, Florida don't really get cold florida don't have a cold cold like that but i saw this for two dollars and i couldn't i couldn't put this down so it's like a scarf and then you just pop so you already have the hole you have this side you just pop it through and that's it two dollars can't beat that because you know what if i come to new york in the summer i mean in winter time i got something to put on i always got to because you know new york is still home to me so i gotta always have it so then my parents, they were, so they were into uh, upstate um, New York, well, like Westchester County, I would say. And they got some New York Giants stuff for me too as well. So I got this New York Giants t-shirt. And this is a, I think this is a size, uh, this is a medium. So I think this is men, the medium shirt, which I love so much. And then this hat was so cute, this New York hat. And it has the little sequence, a sequence, sequence, whatever you want to call it hat which you know i can't do it because of the braids on but hat and then these masks were so cute so they had this new york giants mask and this one well, i wore this one already and they got this new york giants mask so i am super excited for these i was like oh my god you guys thought about me you guys love me and then after that on friday so after we did friday friday was just a regular chill day i was actually um watching merlin again and then after that saturday was the day on the 21st we actually left new york yeah we reached back down thank you shout out to jet blue because that's like my only airline that i usually fly and came back down and that was like my trip for new york i i was really nice seeing family and friends especially how i haven't been to new york since 2000 um i think 18 2018 i've been to new york because i went for my graduation because i did my graduation ceremony for my master's in new york and i didn't go in 2019 and 2020 you know we had the covid because i wanted to go 2020 and then i was like we have to go this that's the end of my video about my little quick trip to new york well not really a trip but my week vlog my recap i wish i was able to like record so much but it's like i was so much into the moment that it didn't dawn on me and i'm like how am i gonna i need a better have a better action going forward with vlogging and stuff like that but that's all i have to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to rate share like subscribe tell a friend tell a friend all that good stuff and stay blessed bye don't forget to subscribe to my blog diamondsandbillsblog.com thank you later yeah.